you ever gone to a hotel and had this problem? So I go back to my room in hotel and there is no shit on my bed. See, you not understand. I want a shit on my bed. He say, you better not shit on the bed, you son of a- I hear these kinds of mistakes a lot. People mean to say sheet or beach or peace, but it doesn't come out quite right. And you say something you didn't mean to. What did you say? Go to hell. Vowels are a huge part of speaking clearly and confidently. Let me show you how to hear, understand, and pronounce the differences between e and i in English because one of these doesn't even exist in many languages. And I don't want you to make embarrassing mistakes. I'm Accent Coach Bianca, and if pronunciation is important to you, subscribe to my channel so that you can master an American accent. There are three main things to articulating perfect vowels. Jaw height, tongue position, and lips. And we're gonna compare these two sounds, e and i, using minimal pairs. Now don't let that scare you. That just means that there's two words that we pronounce almost identically, but there's one minimal difference. For example, when people say leave, but what they really meant to say was live. Listen to see if you can hear the differences. Leave, live. Leave, live. Leave, live. E, I, E, I, E, I. Maybe these sound the same to you. That's okay. Maybe you just need a bit more listening practice first. And if that's the case, check out this short that I made for you. The link is down in the description. Because if you can't hear the difference, it makes it a lot harder to produce the difference. Alrighty then. But let's master the E first. E as in beat. It's a sound that's in many languages. And in English, it might be three to 4% of all the sounds you make. But can you describe exactly how to articulate it? If you're like me, your tongue tip is behind your bottom front teeth, your jaw is just barely open, and your lips are tense and smiling. E. And that's why we say cheese in photos, to make you smile. The sound itself is relatively long in duration, and the pitch is quite high. E. Now let's combine the E with some other high frequency sounds. N's, R's, and T's. Copy me. Neat, read, team. Now let's put those words into context with some clips for you to shadow. Pretty neat, huh? Pretty neat, huh? Pretty neat, huh? Every morning I read Backstage West. Every morning I read Backstage West. Every morning I read Backstage West. Stop thinking like an individual and start thinking like a team. Start thinking like a team. Start thinking like a team. Okay, that was the easy part. Now we're gonna contrast E with I. I as in bit. E, I. E, I. You might notice that the duration is a little bit shorter and my pitch is a little bit lower as well. We used the minimal pairs leave and live before, so let's continue. See if you can hear the differences in these ones as well. Leave, live, neat, knit, read, rid, team, tim, seat, sit, deal, dill. Awesome. And if you're still having trouble because your first language doesn't have that i sound, refer to the pinned comments where I have the link to that short just to get some more ear training. We sometimes call this sound short i, but that can also be confusing because in some languages, the letter i sounds like e. Even I make this mistake sometimes. So let's use the IPA name, International Phonetic Alphabet. It's small capital I. And this sound isn't just important for those curse words, oh no, it's important for all your speaking in English. But how do we know how to differentiate the pronunciation? How do we know what to do differently with our jaw, our tongue, and our lips? Compared to E, I open my jaw a bit more. How much? about a pinky's width. You keep your tongue in the front. And most importantly, I'm gonna relax my lips. I, I. And now I have some more of those high frequency sounds combined into words in context for you to shadow. Better we get rid of the bad apples now. Better we get rid of the bad apples now. Better we get rid of the bad apples now. Like the name Tim. Like the name Tim. Like the name Tim. So, Sit down. So, sit down. So, 
Excellent. How are you doing so far? Now you can contrast these two sets of words by yourself. Neat knit, read rid, team tim, seat sit, deal dill. And if you're really getting the hang of it, let me know down in the comments by adding another e i minimal pair. Now, for the most important thing, I want you to slow down and pay attention so that you can be intentional. Now you know your e. Now you know your i. E i e i e i. You want to swear? Swear. Sorry, what? I'm not here to tell you what to say. I'm here to tell you how to say it. So when you want to swear, get it right. Damn right. Smile, not cursing. Smushy lips, cursing. Otherwise, when you accidentally say sheet and beach and peace, you just sound silly. That doesn't work, does it? You want your words to have bite, but you take the teeth out when you do it wrong. I know these videos are kind of one-sided and they can only take you so far. Do you still have trouble hearing the differences? Do you want more explanation? Come and get my free live expert feedback on pronouncing perfectly by joining one of my American accent masterclasses. How often are they? Every month. <laughs> the key to improving here is that you need to practice. Drill, drill, drill from the short and shadow, shadow, shadow from the clips. Sir, yes, sir! One big difference that vowels do is differentiate American and British accents. And I have a special video on the London punk accent that you might enjoy. I'm Accent Coach Bianca, and I'm on a mission to help you understand accents better. See you in the next video.